Let's have a good chill time. Good morning, afternoon, evening, any stock greeting. My name is Peyton. I'm unfortunately a vocal synth user, and I'm here to bestow my infinite knowledge upon the masses. As the title of the video states, this is a very specific tutorial for a specific group of people. Welcome to the world of Utau and Utau synth. This is mainly aimed for beginners who want to get into a really powerful DIY vocal synth voice bank creation and or general program usage. However, moderate and or even advanced users of one of the 600 versions of Utau could possibly learn a thing or two from me. For an easy viewing experience and for my sanity, I will be dividing this video into several different parts. Some specifically for Windows and some specifically for Mac though this specific installation tutorial will be both for Windows and Mac. For Windows users, downloading Utau is rather simple. Firstly, it is strongly advised that you change your system locale to Japanese. For most people, this will not affect your system or your programs. If you use a program that relies on a specific locale to not break, then you don't necessarily need to change your system locale for Utau. It will just be not the greatest experience. Anyway, Go to http colon slash slash utau2008.xrea.jp and click on the first link. It should say v 0.4.18e in Sutora. The steps are in Japanese, but it's rather straightforward if you've ever used an installer on a Windows machine. The first prompt that shows up will tell you something along the lines of the installer will guide you through the steps required to install the Utau synthesis tool and copyright information towards the bottom saying it's protected under copyright law under Amea's ownership. Note that the three buttons along the bottom respectively say cancel, back, and next, like any basic Windows installer. The next prompt will ask you where you want to install the Utau singing synthesis tool. The default is program files 86, but it is highly recommended that you put it in something like my documents or maybe even on your desktop because later versions of Windows have restrictions regarding permissions and stuff in the program files x86 folder. So it would limit Utau's capabilities in some sense. Note that the options with E and M next to them determine whether or not to install Utau for the current user or for all users on the computer. It's 2021, everybody has their own computer, so you can just leave M selected, but if you need to use a different account for whatever reason, I just recommend using E because it will install it for all users. The next prompt will basically say you are ready to install Utau and click next to start the installation. The Utau Singing Synthesis tool has been installed correctly. After the installer is finished, you should have an Utau shortcut on your desktop. Double click on it and it will bring up both a Japanese text readme and a screen that shows problemchild oto.any configurations. This is normal for the default voice bank, just close it and Utau will open. For Mac users, Utau Synth is a different story. In a way, it's easier to install, but I will be covering some extra steps in order to optimize the user experience. You can download Utau Synth directly from http colon slash utau-synth.com slash download.html. Be sure to download v1.0.0b20 if you are any version above macOS High Sierra. There is virtually no difference between b18 and b20, other than that b18 is 32-bit and b20 is 64-bit. Utau Synth has a rather odd history with compatibility. It began as a 32-bit program, so it lost support once macOS Mojave superseded High Sierra. Thus, the creator of Utau, Amea, who has an updated Utau PC in the better half of the past decade, released a 64-bit version of Utau Synth. Big Sur has apparently caused some compatibility issues with a few people, but I personally never had issues even on my M1 Mac. The best solution is to download the Utau Synth Edit Patch made by Dante Designs. It adds and fixes a few minor features as well as removes the stupid 30 day trial period that you need to re-enable every month. Be warned however that from personal experience it kind of breaks a few features. They're minor enough to not really matter though. The reasoning is likely because Dante Designs' Utau Synth Edit Patch was made for the 32-bit version of the program. Right click on the program, click show package contents and navigate to english.lproj. 
folder under Contents Resources. Make a copy of mainmenu.nib if you think you'll mess it up, but you just replace the mainmenu.nib with the one from Dante Design's website. Then, for the first time opening it, right-click and click Open because it's not from the official App Store. And alright, I guess that's it. I know that there are a plethora of Utau download tutorials on YouTube, but we do have to start here because this is, technically, the Utau Mega Tutorial. At least that's what I've been calling it. In the next tutorial, whenever I get it done, because it will probably take a while, we're going to be doing a program overview, we're going to be talking about the interface, the UI, and all of the features in Utau PC specifically, and then we'll move on to Utau Synth. So we're starting out a little slow, but that might be necessary for some of you, and that's okay. Yeah, baby! You can do it! Have a nice day, and happy Utau-ing? <laughs>